okay so in this video we will try to look at how we can make a landing page or a cover or wallpaper for our storybook um storybook is a good way of uh, showcasing your uh, you know project components or you know maybe a library of yours or a, you know a, a collection of components you have uh, in your uh, which you're using in your company or a certain project so um, it should have a landing page especially if you want to show it off to people like maybe you are developing a library as a portfolio project and you want to you know show it to your employers so it would uh, add a very nice um, impact to the employer because you know they will uh, see that you have done something extra and yeah that would add uh, to, uh, to your storybook also would kind of um, show what your storybook is about so here is a sample um this is upstate ui is a library of mine which i am creating um and uh, yeah this is the landing page for it so i will just in this tutorial explain how to do that you know how to make a landing page basically so first of all yeah so i reload the storybook um as of right now there is no um, landing page or anything there is one component a button it's just a normal component with two pops and then you know it has stories uh, basic stuff so i'm not going uh, here to explain the stories so let's skip it um in order to have a wallpaper or landing page you need to make a story which should have a name introduction dot stories dot mdx so yeah, let's uh, make that so introduction dot stories dot mdx so mdx is basically a format which is um which contains a uh, markdown and also javascript so it's a mix of this and storybook uses it basically so you can either write your stories using mdx or javascript so yeah um, first we have to import a meta tag so we do import meta from storybook add-ons storybook add-on docs so we import that and then we import the um, picture we will use so this is the picture we will use for the wallpaper so introduction cover from whatever the file name is so introduction.png so yeah. then uh, we have to add a meta tag which will be you know the page title basically so as my library name was upstate ui so let's give it this name now let's add the um, html for the stuff i want to show so let's make a div with a class of content let's add a h1 which would be the name of the library and an h3 something which will have the library description so um let's add a dummy uh description so yep also now add an image with the source introduction cover also let's give it a class name um go hold on not here cover right so yeah uh in order to make it work right now um basically uh, we have two um template uh, pro paths which are used to you know, pick up stories and display them here i have you know added a path to where the introduction the stories that index file is so that a storybook can know where it is so i've said um 
out of the storybook folder source components landing page and then story name so let's refresh it let's you know go straight to local 6006 and yeah it displayed this um garbage beautiful um so now let's add some styles to it um so that you know it takes the full width and height so let's add the style tag and uh, let's add that text and now you can you know write styles inside it like normal css styles so i want to make it position absolute i want to you know, be the at the you know at the top and left so it should start from the top and left and it should take the full height so 100 vh it should be 100 vw and uh, yeah z index should be one this is a that's the dummy uh, Z index so that you know I can give an upper Z index to the content should so that the content should uh, stay on top of it so give it a position of relative so that I can give it a Z index and then give it a Z index of 2 so yeah, let's see um, we can see that you know it has taken the full width and height of the page oh, and uh, yeah it's looking awesome and you can you know use any picture you like and it would add a lot of add a lot to your storybook it would tell what the story your storybook is about what kind of components you're making etc etc this is you know depicting that this storybook is about the components library which are more fashion towards mobile apps so yeah that's it if you want to uh, watch more uh, tutorials like this uh, subscribe to the channel and like and comment and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.